Hi everyone, I'd like to share with you how to make something similar to this. I've done it, um, I think it was last week, and posted it on Facebook and several uh, people asked me how I've done it. Now, uh, it's really fun, it's easy, and I think it's quick also. It just needs to come with a warning. Do not... <laughs> Do not operate heavy machinery or make our journal pages at 2 a.m. in the morning. Because this is my page, this is my journal, so it got upside down. So let uh, for the demo demonstration, we'll flip it again, and I'm going to use uh, other uh, colors. Now this one was uh, I used acrylic paints because acrylic inks because it's easier it, they are already a uh, fluid and it's easier to um, use this technique well this technique is more like smearing paint so I don't know if you can call it a technique but uh, not everyone has uh, acrylic inks so I'm going to use uh, just plain acrylics and I've picked this uh, these are all local brands from the cheap store, so I don't have anything to say about uh, it. I've got this pink, this gray, light blue, and this purple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit here on my mat. And I'm going to add water so there will, they would be more fluid. And let's take some brush and mix it it's a plastic mat so I can uh, put paint and wipe it wipe it later <laughs> more water now, if you are picking colors that are from the same family, it's easier. If you are not, then you are uh, risking creating mud. Uh, here I've got uh, colors that uh, can create mud, almost created mud. But So if you want to go all uh, rainbowy, just uh, take time between uh, each color to, and let it dry. So what I'm doing is putting, uh, these pages are already gessoed. I'm also spraying a little bit on the pages and now I'm putting color wherever. It really doesn't matter. That's the fun of it. You just slap on paint wherever you want. If you want, you can use a sponge, and only the sponge uh, can take a lot of the paint, and it won't be uh, fluid enough. But that's the basic stuff. So now I'm just putting it down, squishing it. <laughs> and here we go and you just continue putting down paint now I this one is really runny so I don't I'm not going to add water let's see about the gray I'm thinking these acrylics are not great there is a reason they are from the cheap store <laughs> and I don't care if they mix so I'm just putting it, them down now without water and also the purple no reason, no, uh, just having fun putting down paint now I'm going to add a little bit more of the pink because of the water
and now I'm going to squish it again only I want something underneath so when the paint is going to run outside it won't be on the other pages so again and squishing and pressing down you can also use a brayer if it's easier for you so quite a different outcome from uh, what I've got here uh, you you can work with that it's uh, also nice and interesting or you can just use your fingers and again just have fun whatever you like if you like it smeared like that if you prefer it as it was it's up to you it really doesn't matter just laying down paint and I can go and take and move the paint wherever I want and if I feel I don't have enough of the blue I can add and do whatever I want so basically that's the background just smearing paint away I don't know if you can see this but even when I'm using a lot of paint with my finger it's not great because these uh, paints are well they are not great but just for this it's good enough for me for this smearing and I can blend between the colors if I want to and I can also take a marking tools and a go a on top of it. It's all wet. I can take a brush and make a, some kind of a print. I can take a sponge and dab a little just so there won't be a, my finger a print all over this page. Whatever you like, you can do. Smear paint. So basically, this is the background. I'm going to let it dry and then we'll continue. I'm back. So, now I want to add interest to my uh, smeared paint. And I've picked uh, several uh, stamps that I want to use in the background. And let's see. I've got, I think it's ginkgo leaves. And I'm going to try first this uh, ink pad. It's from Prague. I don't know. <laughs> Just a uh, wildflower everything else I don't know what it is it's in chat so yeah that's good enough for me for a start because it's quite a big stamp so I don't want it to overrule uh, the page I think I'll put one here Yeah, and mm, and a little bit 
bit here. I'm uh, first uh, more trying to um, create some kind of a border to my page. Not only add interest, I'm using the stamps to make some kind of a framing. So picking another one from this set, I'm I'm not uh, thinking this too much, I'm just stamping away and I'm switching uh, to Momento uh, Nautical Blue randomly stamping my page it's always difficult uh, here where the fold is so I'm doing it manually if you can call it that okay little bit more here and now I want some text in the background don't really care what it says I just want some letters and let's see This is so much fun, <laughs> just not thinking, doing, don't care. here so this is that and I still want something more of interest in the background let's see I'm thinking this swirly thing It's all random. I'm not overthinking it, just putting down some interest. It doesn't even have to make a fine print of it. Okay, so this is my background and now I want something on it for interest like I've done here with the butterflies and so they will stand out more I took a, a little bit of gesso with my finger and made the, those circles 
now you don't have to use your finger you can also try and um, if you have um, oops. if you have something like that or a stencil you can use it also and that's what I'm going this time to do and where did I put gesso it is so taking a little bit of gesso and let's see where do I want let's start here of course you can do if you don't want circles do whatever you like and use whatever color you want it doesn't have to be white I just thought it would be nicer this way so part of the background is showing it doesn't uh, completely uh, cover everything so it's nice and you can do different sizes of uh, circles or again any shape you want basically this is going to frame uh, the element that I want to use on this page which I'm thinking is going to be a ginkgo leaf concerned about accuracy of the circle just putting down gesso and trying to move with the shape of the circle you see it's not an accurate shape I can fix it or I can leave it so uh, let's see another circle here and I don't know let's see not sure <laughs> it's not planned just trying to make something nice okay let's do one here edges I like it and just another one that will go off the edges here yeah so I'm going to let it dry before I continue and I'll be back I'm back so 
Now I've got this stamp of ginkgo leaves, uh, leaf and I want it in my uh, circles that I've made and let's hope it will work. It does. <laughs> I'm leaving this one. I want to put some uh, words in it, and this is going to be difficult because it's on the fold. So I'm gonna try and do it very carefully. Good enough for me. And now for the words here. The real joy in life is in its play. I think it's appropriate for this page. Okay, so maybe I will have to go over it because the print is not great. And now I just want to add something to my circles and I'm just using a permanent marker and as you can see doing it freehand and I don't want it I want it a how to call this <laughs> just loose and Carefree. And just some kind of border again playing. Yeah, this is it. That's what I want. So I really like it. I hope you'll play with it. I hope you'll do something uh, either this way or that way and have fun with it. Smear paint. <laughs> so this is it for now. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me uh, comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.